programme in Health and International Development is really aiming at anybody who's got a curiosity and an interest in understanding how are health and development connected. What's the role of poverty? What does that mean for people's health? What about issues of inequality? Evidence we have, how good is that evidence? And what are the policy implications of that evidence? There's been a wide range of diseases in parts of Africa in which I've worked that have largely been set to one side and ignored. They are the diseases of the most impoverished people. You have to have buy-in from the population. You know, the idea that you have a vertical intervention where you know, vast numbers of tablets come raining down and people will then consume them you know, in an orderly manner is rather absurd when one begins to think about it. Um, so we have to have much more effective communication. We offer masters in development studies, development management, international development and humanitarian emergencies. We have a masters in African development and we have a masters in health and international development. The program can either be full time over one year or part time over two years. It's taught through a combination of lectures and then small group seminars. Some courses would have um, the, your typical interaction between students, presentation and discussion in groups. Some other courses, like for example mine on planning for population development, is more kind of workshop based. Some other courses are actually consultancy based, where you have to end up producing a project. Every student on the programme will do a piece of independent research that's called a dissertation and that will range from somebody who wants to do something very theoretical, very literature based, all the way through to somebody who wants to generate their own evidence. We are part of the new LSE Global Health Initiative and already this is yielding some really interesting opportunities for students. For example, um, we're running a networking event um, with an international public relations expert on how to work a room, how to network in health. We're running um, small group uh, reading, reading groups with really major international figures that students can then spend a couple of hours with and discuss in great detail a particular health and development issue. The location of the LSC in the heart of London means that the opportunities for students who are interested in health and international development are absolutely incredible. I can't think of a more amazing setting in terms of cultural setting, in terms of location, in terms of presence of the very own organisations that you're going to then study in the theory but also in the practice through some of the courses. So this is the place where you can get in touch with NGOs from Save the Children, UNICEF, Amnesty International, Medicine Sans Frontieres and so on. LSE graduates are really attractive to employers. The students can leave having identified what they need to develop in their CV to make themselves really attractive to the job market. Graduates from our department go on to do all sorts of exciting things. Many of them go and work in national governments or international organizations, the non-governmental organizations, the not-for-profit sector. Many of them go into private industry. And of course, many of them, after they finish their MSc, go on to do a PhD and have careers in academia, academia or think tanks. One of the things that I love is just how diverse the student body is. They will get analytical skills, and I think this is a strength for this degree specifically, and they will get a brand name on their CV which is recognised worldwide, one of the best source of science schools in the world.